so we are going to install git on windows 10 okay so i am on git-scm.com website you will find page similar to this and here you see at the bottom there is also latest version number is displayed okay now you can click on this download option and the download will start okay once started you will find that after the installation you will have your installer something like this okay considering windows 10 is 64 bit on my system here so i'm going to use the 64 bit installer double click on that it may ask for permission depending on where it needs to install okay so let's take a look at what are the wizard options so here you see the basic gpl license read and click next here you can choose between your drives i'm going to keep with the default okay i don't want icon on desktop uh, i can have these additional integration okay you can have two type font in all console windows okay then association okay that's it click next you don't have to check daily for updates okay and you can choose to have folder name okay you can use visual studio code as default editor okay now click on next okay so by default it will use this command line and from third party software option okay so if you choose to use unix tools you can but warning says you should not okay so we are going with the git from command line and also from third party software click next you can use open ssl library right and there is also one for windows as well okay again go with the open ssl click next okay so let's go with the default click next you can use file catching great credential manager symbolic links okay fair enough and then enable experimental built-in dash i slash dash p okay so it is not considered robust so we can skip that click on install that should install the files okay now finally you can click on finish and that should show you the git installer closing so let's go with another drive and here if i do git double dash version and if it shows me version then that means it is properly installed on windows 10 okay it shows that it is added into path and now you can run git specific operation here